Thanks for joining us. A piece of history in downtown St. Cloud destroyed by fire. Now, 12 days later, federal authorities make an arrest. Today, authorities arrested the owner of the press bar, and they say he's the one who started the fire. Devon Roming shows us the news is coming as a shock to people in the St. Cloud community. You know, many people I spoke with who live here in downtown St. Cloud tell me it's like they've lost a piece of history. And then to learn today how it all went down, they tell me it's simply heartbreaking. As the sun sets on downtown St. Cloud and onlookers take in what's left of what used to be the press bar and parlor, now left in ruins, people can't believe the cause has been deemed intentional. I really didn't expect it. Um, I had I had known that the, it was recently bought by the owners and they had been renovating it. So. St. Cloud officials, along with the ATF, say based on their investigations nearly two weeks later, the owner of the popular downtown spot, especially for the college students, yeah, it was, is to blame, leaving speculation swirling around town as to why. I mean, these buildings have been up here forever now. It's kind of weird that that would just happen out of the blue. I'm sad. I'm stunned. Downtown St. Cloud is a popular destination for people both near and far, and those who call the area home, like Peggy Hawes, say this unfortunate loss won't hurt this historic district's potential. They've done a lot of things to, to bring St. Cloud back and doing some festivals and everything, and then you have this happen, and it just strikes at the heart. But it's the moment of times past. I had some fun memories there. That Peggy hopes will keep the potential of this charming stretch of downtown alive and keep you coming back for more. I want people to keep coming down to downtown St. Cloud. It's a great place. The ATF and the St. Cloud Fire Department are investigating. In downtown St. Cloud, Devon Roming, CARE 11 News.